Let's meet Richard Swenson, the victim's best friend. Hello? <clears throat> hi. So, hi. I'm investigating uh, Victor's murder. The best friend I ever had. I haven't been myself since it happened. How long did you know him? Hold your horses, ma'am. I'm not gonna tell you everything just like that. I've got my integrity to think of, and my own house to look after. Before I tell you anything, I want you to do something for me. Yes, I don't like the sound of this. He's gonna make me do his chores, isn't he? I was out with uh, some buddies last night, drinking some beer at the river park. I must have been quite drunk uh, since I lost both my watch and my reading glasses. Do you think you can find them for me? My eyesight isn't what it used to be. Sure, I'll be back in a jiffy. So, uh, the river park. Very fancy river park. Let's see if we can find this man's glasses. His glasses and his watch. I have to say, I love the scenery in this game. It's very fancy. Those magpies. Oh no, the whole watch was stolen by uh, some crows, it looks like. Yeah, this is a very fancy looking park. It's kind of amazing. Okay, so let's see, where, where can glasses be located? Hmm. I'll just try to look everywhere, see if I can find any glasses. Oh, here the pathway splits into two. So you can take the left path or the right path. Ooh, here's a thingy. Okay, I think I need to grab it with my modified coat hanger. Hmm, looks like I do not. Do I use the shoehorn? Okay, I use the shoehorn. And this basically gives me a Y-shaped twig with some pebbles. I'm gonna use that as a slingshot. This is the edge of the park. Yeah, this is the edge of the park. Nothing else here. Is there anything I can grab? Hmm. I don't know. Where are those glasses, though? Yeah, the glasses should be somewhere on the ground or on a bench or something, maybe? a sharp eye out for it. Yeah, like this? Oh, I thought that was glasses, but no, okay, it's not glasses. Yeah, sort of the downside to having such awesome scenery. There's just so much to look at, it can be hard to find the one thing you're looking for. Okay, where are those glasses? Hmm. Oh, here! Got them! Great, 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 great. So, do I use the glasses on this twig to make a slingshot? Yes, okay, I use the rubber band on the back of the glasses. And where, where was that tree? Here it is, here it is. Okay, so, use the slingshot here. Aha, got it, got it. Nice watch, thank you. Okay, so, we have the watch. Now let's just leave. Go back through the park. And here you go, Richard. Here's your stuff. Thanks. That saved me a lot of time. You're welcome. So, now you should be ready to talk. How long did you know Victor? We go back a long way. I can't really remember how long. He got fired from Gusum just before they closed down for being too heavy on the booze. He became somewhat uh, of a tramp after that, sleeping outdoors and in stairwells. Last year he often slept in a tunnel uh, in uh, the oil mountain, in Lindo. I know, because uh, I tipped him off about the place. 
So, do you know the Tramp alphabet? I may know some of it, but it's secret, you know. Look, that's all I'm telling you at the moment. Aw, well, thanks for your time. Call me if something comes up. And thanks again for my stuff. I'm pretty sure we'll meet him later on for information about the Tramp's language. Once we know for sure, we absolutely need to read it. Okay, so Oil Mountain. Oil Mountain. This is a really, really large place with lots of things to explore. Uh, for now, you just want to go forward and find the area where the victim liked to hang out. So the victim liked to sleep here in this uh, empty tunnel. Hmm, very interesting. So as you can see, there's an area on the side. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> Lots of graffiti. This area on the side, you need to, to walk up the area. So, uh, more graffiti. So instead of going uh, straight forward here, you want to go forward on the right-hand side to climb up the ramp. So this area is too dark. We cannot get into it right now. Oh, oh wait. Wait a minute. I think we hit the jackpot. This is clearly where the victim was staying. So Victor Wallen, Saltfield Shelter? Hmm. The Saltfield Shelter? I wonder where that is. So he has a, a letter. What's this letter? Oh, it's a, it's a letter from Richard, who we just met. Okay, so what did Richard say? Hi, Victor. How are things on the outside? I'm doing three months at Skanas at the moment. I'm assigned to the kitchen, mostly washing dishes. It's okay, because I get a lot of spare time, and I can eat as much as I want to. The reason I'm writing to you is that I found a very good sleeping place. You should try it out as soon as it gets warmer, since I know you don't like the shelter. And uh, I seem to remember you don't like the West Central Station, because you have a phobia of trains. So, you go to the Oil Mountain. You need to approach it. Well, we, we've already been there. Uh, <laughs> I, we are here in the Oil Mountain place right now. I used the back area before they locked me up in here. I even left this cozy mattress. But I, I didn't quite explore this area. Not this area. This area. The dark area. So Richard didn't really explore the dark area. He heard there was some cool stuff there. And I think there might be cool stuff there for us to find later on. Okay, so that's it for here. That's it for this uh, area. I think we've got two things we can do. Uh, look up something at the library. Nope, okay, we can't look up something at the library. Never mind, Th and then we only have one thing to do. Check out this salt field shelter. Uh, if the victim was getting letters addressed to this location, he must have been here sometimes. So, hello, hello, madam. Uh, do you run this institution? Yes. Did you know Victor Wallen? Yes, he's been murdered, but you probably know that. He stayed here from time to time, but only for shorter periods. He didn't like our routines. His mail was always delivered here, though. So is this place some sort of homeless shelter? That's what I'm guessing it is. And he was scared of trains. Well, his father was killed by a train at work at the Fiskeby station. And you probably know Richard Swenson. He's had his own apartment for a long time now, and is presently on a successful methadone treatment. The money for his treatment comes from the same fund that pays for this shelter. Unfortunately, there's no money left in the fund now. I don't know what will happen to his treatment, and the shelter is in bad need of renovation. Oh no, well that's really sad news. I don't want the homeless shelter to shut down, and I don't want Richard to relapse into his drug problems. So she mentioned a fund that plays for this shelter, that pays for the shelter. I wonder if it's the same uh, corn growers fund which paid for that skateboard park we went to. Anyway, I suppose it's not important. Um, uh, not important right now, anyway. If you get any more mail from Victor, please give it to me. If that's important to you, Yes. I know I'm a complete stranger, but uh, please, give me this guy's mail. Trust me, I'm a detective. 
And we can come back um, multiple times to ask if there's mail. So, oh, wow, she changed her clothes. Uh, do you have any new mail? Sorry, no. But I'll keep my eyes open. You could just come back over and over and Sorry, over again. No. But I'll keep my eyes open. <laughs> there's no mail right now, but we will eventually uh, get mail. We will eventually get mail um, for him. And now we can go to the uh, library. So Fiskaby Station. So Eric Nyman, he um, he died there. So Eric Nyman. Wait, Eric Nyman. Ah, uh, yeah, husband of Elvira Wallen. Okay, and it was it was where his father died. Okay, so I think we have officially confirmed now that the victim was the son of Elvira Wallen and Eric Nyman. So Eric Nyman um, tragically died at the Fiskaby station, huh? Hit by a train. That's 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 a really terrible way to die. And now the train station's abandoned. Nobody has been here in like 50 years. Creepy.